Welcome to the Midnight Podcast. The story we will be reading today is Terrifying Experience That My Sister Had While She Was Working as an Emergency Dispatcher at 911 by Wash Your Hands Zoe from Reddit. Shout out to my patrons for making this video possible and for helping support the channel financially with their insane generosity. I really hope you enjoy. I made a text transcription of the audio file she shared. You have called the 911 emergency service. The conversation will be recorded. Dispatch number three will be taking your call. 911, what's your emergency? Hello, uh, lady? Good evening, kiddo. What's your emergency? Someone is standing outside my door. Someone is standing outside your door? Yeah. I went to the toilet downstairs, turned on the light, and saw that somebody is standing in my backyard behind the glass doors. Someone is standing outside your glass doors? What is he doing? Is he trying to get into the house? No, he's just standing there, looking at me. Does he see you? Tell me, is he trying to open the door? No, he's just standing there and open. Say it again, I didn't get that. The door is already open. Is the door open? Is it unlocked? Yeah, it's like, you know, uh, a sliding glass door and that it... And I see that it's slightly opened. It was already open when you came down and turned on the light? Yeah. I turned on the light and I saw it. Uh, the door was already open. Do you see any weapons in the hands of the one standing outside the door? What? Is the one behind the door armed? Do you see any weapons in his hands? Oh, probably not. I, I can't see his hands. What's your name? Okay, kid. My name is... The dispatcher's name has been redacted. Tell me, is the one standing outside your door a man? No, it's not a man. Is it a woman? No, it's not a man or a woman. Uh, okay. The figure standing outside the door. What does it look like? I don't know. You don't know? Do you have no lights on in the backyard? It's not lit, but I turned on the light in the hallway and he's standing right next to the door on the street. And I see him. Then try to describe who it is. What does he look like? I don't know. Okay, kid. Tell me. What is that person doing now? He's just standing there. He's not trying to enter your house? No, but I'm very scared. Please come as soon as possible. It's okay. Listen to me. Tell me. I really want to go to the bathroom. I feel like I'm going to pee myself. Mom will be very mad if I wet myself again. Don't worry. Talk to me. Everything will be alright. How old are you? Hello? The boy's name has been redacted. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Tell me, how old are you? I'm seven and a half. Seven years. Okay, tell me, who do you live with? Mom and dad. And where are they now? They left for work. Did they leave at the same time? Yeah, they worked together and they got a call late at night. And they got in their car and they left. What are your parents' names? My mom's name is... The mother's name has been redacted. And dad's... Dad's name is also redacted. What's your last name? The family's last name has been redacted as well. Okay, we'll try to locate their car and contact them. Thank you. Kid, listen. We can't track your call. What phone are you calling from? It's my mobile phone. Are you making an emergency call? My phone just ran out of battery because I was watching YouTube before going to bed and fall asleep. When I woke up, it had no battery left. I went downstairs to pee and, and get it recharged. I turned on the light and put the phone on charge, and, and then I heard the door was opening. Did you hear the door was opening? Yeah. I turned around and saw him outside the door. I, I wanted to go back to my room, but he started shaking and twitching and the door started to open a little. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Did he start to open the door? He started shaking. He started shaking? Like it began to vibrate and there was a strange sound like I can't describe it. It, it. it was as if several people were tapping their fingernails on the glass at the same time. I do not know how to describe it. And the door began to open. Are you sure? Did the door start to come off by itself? Are you sure? I know for sure. Why are you so sure that the door came off by itself? Because I, I see that hands. What did you say? 
I didn't hear the last word. Say again. You didn't have hands. Hello? Yes. The boy's name was redacted. We can't determine your location. Do you know the name of your street and the number of your house? Mm, no. Think about it. It's very important. Remember, maybe your parents talked about it in your presence? What? Maybe your mom or dad told you the name of your street, or you saw the name on your house? There is no name on the house, only the number. Okay, what's the number? Twelve? Twelve? Yeah, a and there is no street name there. Uh, there. Something was written on the signs near the road, but I never had time to read it. And there were several names and arrows pointing in different directions. And what kind of road was it? Describe it to me. Are there a lot of traffic lights? No, none at all. But there is a very large forest nearby, and... Did you say forest? Did you say that you live near the forest? Yeah. Maybe you live outside the city? No, Dad told me it was called something like, uh... Uh... Suburbs? Probably. The dispatcher says aside. They live in the suburbs, near the forest. House number 12. What about a GPS? And how long will it take? He doesn't know the name of the street. They live near the forest. The phone was turned off before the call, so it is difficult to determine the signal. Hmm. Now the parents have left. The boy is seven years old. Alone at home, someone is standing outside his door. Hello? Are you here? He can't determine who it is. He says that he looks at him and stands motionless. Hey, tell me, is he still standing outside the door? Yes. I'm scared. I don't understand who it is. Tell me, maybe it's just some kind of costume. Maybe the one standing behind the door is wearing a mask and a suit of some kind? No. Why do you think so? I can see his skin. I, I think I remembered something. Did you remember the name of the street? I remember that the street is named after some composer. Your street is named after the composer? Yeah. In the name of the composer, try to remember the name of him. Ah, uh, I can't. I really want to go to the toilet. I think I'm going to pee myself. But baby, listen to me. Everything will be fine. Try to breathe slowly and calmly. The police will be coming to your house soon. We're trying to track your location, but because your phone was turned off, it's harder for us to find your signal. Hey, please don't cry, darling. Listen to me. Everything will be fine. You have to help me, okay? Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just don't cry. I need your voice to be brave and legible, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Tell me, is the one standing behind the door still there? I don't want to look there anymore. I'm too afraid. I need to know if you're in danger or not. Is he still there? Yeah. Oh, he's still there. He's looking at me. Please come. I can't stand this anymore. I want to pee. I want to go to mom and dad. Please, have you already found me? Have you already found my house? Hurry up, please. I can't. The sound of a door opening begins to ring out throughout the house. Baby, what's going on there? Have your parents come back? No, but I heard the sound of the door opening. I, I, I took a step back and it, oh, oh, it shook. It opened, a, it opened the door a little bit more. Baby, is he trying to enter your house? If he tries to enter your house, I want you to run somewhere. Somewhere there's a lock, and I want you to lock yourself in there and sit quietly. Can you do that? No, I told you. When I take a step, the door opens. There's an unintelligible screech in the background of the control line. The dispatcher says to someone aside, This can't be a prank. Do you hear his voice? No one could play like that. How long? Four minutes. Hello? Are you there? You'll stay with me, won't you? I'm here. Everything's fine. I want you to help me, so we'll find your house faster. I'm going to name all the famous composers after whom the streets in your city are named, and you're going to try to remember yours, okay? Can you do that? Can we try? I think so. Okay. Uh, maybe it's... The name has been redacted. No, definitely not it. Street, the name is redacted again. <laughs> no, maybe it's an alley. The alley name has been redacted. Uh, I don't think so, no. Mom and Dad definitely didn't talk about this one. The dispatcher begins tapping on the keyboard, whispering something, and breathing heavily. Lady dispatcher? Yes, honey? 
Will I be all right? Of course, honey. We'll find you soon. You promise? Of course. I promise. And if he opens the door, I don't want that. I want to see my mom. I want to sleep. Please come. When will you arrive? We've almost found you. The police squad is already on its way to your neighborhood. But we just need to determine your street. Let's try again, okay? Yeah. Okay. Since we already know your approximate location, there are two suitable streets in your area. Street redacted. I don't know. Then maybe it's an alley called redacted. I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe, but I, I don't remember. What happened? A deafening bang, and apparently the boy dropped the phone. The sound of the door opening rings out again. Honey, what happened? Talk to me. What's going on? Is he trying to enter the house? Hey, hey, is he trying to enter the house? Yeah. Hello, are you there? There's a rustling, and a shortness of breath can be heard. I can hear you breathing. Answer me, darling. A spider. I'm very afraid of spiders. He ran straight at me and I jumped aside and fell. You were scared of a spider? It's okay. I'm also very afraid of spiders, but they're actually harmless. He ran under the table. Spiders are even more afraid of people than we are of them, you know. That's why they run so fast from side to side. It's okay. Calm down, baby. The one standing behind the door opened it again. And now it's half open, and, and there was that sound of fingernails on glass again. I smell something. Like, like something burning. Is he trying to enter the house? Hey, can you hear me? The one behind the door, is he trying to enter the house? No, no. But a little more and he will open the door completely. I don't want that. Calm down, honey. Everything will be fine. Help is on the way. Be patient, just a little more. Oh, no. What is it, honey? What's wrong? When I fell, the phone popped out of the charger. I, I can't go near it. Everything is fine. Calm down. Look at the screen. Tell me how much battery you have left. Two percent? Oh. Hey, it's all right. Let's, that's enough. Task forces are going to two addresses at once, and one of them will surely be yours. Be patient. A little bit more, okay? Stay with me. Yeah. Will you stay with me? Yeah, I will stay with you. I, I promise. Thank you. You're such a good kid. Your parents will be proud of you when they find out how bravely you've behaved. Mom will be mad at me. And why is that, honey? When I fell, I peed myself. It's okay. She won't be mad at you in any way. She will be very happy to see you. I can guarantee that. Do you believe me? The boy begins to cry, and sniffles can be heard. Can you hear me, honey? Mom and Dad will be very happy to see you, and they will be proud of you. Do you believe me? Yes. Thank you. The boy's phone shows a low battery signal. And the dispatcher says to someone outside of the conversation, Where are the task forces? What's that? Hey, will you come too? Can you tell my mom not to be mad at me? Of course, dear. Just stand still and, and don't move. I can already see your exact location. Both task forces are coming to you. One of them is already very, very close. Just stand still and watch the one standing behind the door. If he tries to enter the house, run to the second floor and lock yourself in your room, alright? I don't have a lock in my room. Do your parents have a lock in their doors? Like a, a, a roundy, round, round thingy with a golden latch? Yes, that's it. So if anything happens, run to their room and lock yourself in. Do you understand me? Yes, I understand. Can you repeat what I just said, just to be sure? If the one behind the door, uh, um, if he tries to enter the house, I will run to mom and dad's room and lock myself in there. Using a round lock with a golden latch, right? Y yeah, yes. Well done. You're the best. The dispatcher then says to someone outside the conversation again, Excuse me? In a ditch? Near the highway. Are you sure it's them? Lady Dispatcher, can you hear me? Who are you talking to? Uh, this, they're, they're the people that I work with. They're helping me find you and, sorry, are you alright? How are you feeling? Not good. I hit my head pretty bad when I fell. I want to go to mom and dad. I want to sleep. They'll be home soon. Hey, but even sooner. Do you know who you'll be meeting with? 
Operating Force? Task Force. That's right. You did well. You remembered everything perfectly. They're on their way. Someone jumped out on the road. What? Find me. Find me soon. The boy's phone gives a low battery signal and then abruptly turns off. The connection is interrupted. My sister told me that 40 seconds later, a task force appeared at the crime scene. The glass door was wide open. Five feet away from it, they found a dead phone, a small puddle and traces of little bare feet. The boy's body was not found. No traces of someone else's presence were found at home. There was no extraneous fingerprints on the sliding glass door. The car of the boy's parents was found a mile away near the road, presumably crashed into a ditch, turned over, and ignited. Firefighters and rescuers arrived too late. The car and its passengers, a 27-year-old, the name of the boy's mother, redacted, a 30-year-old, the name of the father, redacted, and a 7-year-old, the boy's name has been redacted, were dead. According to the autopsy results, the mother and father died instantly. The boy was alive for six minutes after the crash. That's the end of the story. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you're on YouTube, consider liking the video and subscribing, maybe leaving a comment letting me know what you thought. If you're outside YouTube and you're listening on, a, on the podcast, well, I don't know what your options are, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Huge shout out once again to the patrons for supporting this channel financially and really appreciate your generosity. If you'd like to, as well, you can come join our Discord. Come hang out, say hello, get involved in some conversations. It's not too busy, so I think you'll enjoy it. With all that said, we'll see you in the next one.